70 years after seven black men were executed in Virginia for the rape of a white woman, Governor Ralph Northam has pardoned them posthumously. They're known as the Martinsville Seven. Our Jake Burns spoke to their families today about why bringing national exposure to this case is so important to them. Jake? Well, most of you at home probably have not heard these names before. That's Frank Hairston Jr., Booker Milner, Francis DeSales Grayson, Howard Lee Hairston, James Luther Hairston, Joe Henry Hampton, and John Claben Taylor. For their families, this day is about those seven. I couldn't help from crying when I seen my brother's face. I A scheduled rally for justice for crying. the men known as the Martinsville Seven. I cried about it. I prayed about it that, you know, that the families will receive that closure. And today is history. Morphed into a celebration. They will say, like James Brown said, get on the good foot. Good God. Okay? We made it. Back in 1951, these seven black men from Martinsville all put to death for the alleged rape of a white woman. The mass execution was the largest for rape in U.S. history, a sentencing first handed down by an all white jury just eight days after the incident. These men were executed because. They were black. In a surprise to the families and advocates, Governor Northam signing posthumous pardons for the Martinsville Seven, saying evidence shows they weren't given due process and their sentence was racially biased. Thank you, Lord. This reaction from James Grayson, the son of Francis DeSalle Grayson, now pardoned 70 years after the state put him to death. As we sit here in 2021 and, and think about you know, what happened, the, the rapid trials, the, the trials by juries that were all white men, um, it, it was wrong. I think we all, again, as a society, need to work together to, uh, to, to do right for the Commonwealth. And I want you all to put this on the front page of a national newspaper. I want to see this on Oprah. I want to see this on MSNBC, CNN. I want the world to know about the Barnesville Seven. A moment of jubilance for seven families who quickly point out the thousands of other black families who won't feel this. If we band together and work together and fight together, we can acquire the end that we seek because the Martinsville Seven is just one story. Efforts are underway to memorialize this case and its significance in Martinsville. Advocates hoping through either a museum or some other forum they can find a way to talk about this history and what it means.